I'm sure um, it's your first time to Africa as well. No, that's not. I've been twice to South Africa and once to Senegal, but it's 15 years ago, or more, even more for holidays, and yeah, it's the fourth time now. You played your testimonial game on Wednesday. How did it go? Yeah, it went well. You know, it's always a little bit emotional if you if you finish with football. I finished uh, one year ago, and now it was a good finish for me to invite a lot of people who were playing with me and next to me, and yeah, it was a great evening. Away from football, you're retired now. What are you doing? <laughs> I have a lot of a lot of time, you know, to to do things which I never had time when during my career, you know, and there's a lot of private life which I enjoy at the moment, you know, but uh, it's not forever, but at least for one year. I took, my, I took a year off, now I'm uh, fine uh, or finished my, my testimony game, so I'm looking forward to the future. A wife and three beautiful children, I think. Yes, and uh, family is always important, and uh, as you know, if you're a football player, you're traveling a lot, you know, and have a lot of games, so it's, it's also a little bit less that you can see, or it's too less that you can see your kids, and now I have more time for this. Michael, we saw two German clubs play in the Champions League final. What do you think this does to German football? No, and at the moment it seems like that it's very strong. I mean, two German finals never happened before, so everybody's really proud in Germany, and it's also a consequent consequence of, of good uh, good work at the uh, at the at the youth teams. You know, when after 2000 we we put more focus on the on the youth on the youth. Uh, football and now we it looks like we earn something from this also for the national team it's fantastic a lot of young talented players are grown really quick and uh, yeah that is just one one thing what where, where everyone can see the whole world that uh, German football really improved well I can't let you go without talking about Chelsea your former manager Jose Mourinho is a back to the club what do you make of it no it's his decision I mean uh, I feel I feel really pleased, so I, I wish him all the best, you know, uh, he was at my game three, two days ago, we spoke and he seems really relaxed and, and uh, that he's happy to, to make this step again back to Chelsea because I know they love him, not just at Chelsea, also in England and I wish him all the best. They say it's not the best to go back to your, your former love. <laughs> I mean, there are always uh, things to say, uh, you never know, it's his decision and uh, if he will, if he feel welcome, he. He, uh, he had so much success in the past, you know, with, uh, with his former clubs, big clubs, even if in, in his young age as a coach, uh, he has a, a lot, lot more years ahead and uh, why not in Chelsea again? You, you, Chelsea at the moment they doesn't really have the kind of quality that they had when you were there as, as a player. How different do you think uh, Jose Mourinho is going to be adapting to players like this? Oh, he's, he's a really smart coach and don't worry about his, his talent uh, coaching different type of teams. Uh, he will really quick adapt and I'm, I'm sure he's really well prepared for this team. Is he going to win them a lot of titles like he did when you were there? We will see. I mean, um, I mean the squad is still uh, amazing in my eyes, you know. It's a different type of squad. It's more skilled football, more smaller players compared to maybe five, six years ago where we played more physical football. Now it's, uh, it's a different time and uh, he can handle this as well. He showed this in Madrid, in, 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 in Porto and in, in Inter when he won the Champions League. So why not in Chelsea again?